Ah, uh, see, if you were watching and paying attention there, you got a little <laughs> free behind the scenes look. Oh man. Hey, it's Tuesday. Feels kind of like a Monday in some respects. How you doing today? My name's Tom Rigsby. This is seven minutes in the morning, the show where we, this year we're talking about, uh, usually I say how to start, grow and enjoy the benefits of business ownership today. I don't know, for the next little while, we're talking about how to stop letting life happen to you and to begin creating the life you crave. If that sounds interesting to you, you are in the right place. And I would love it if you'd drop me a comment down there and just say hi. Doesn't matter whether you're watching live or on the replay. We stay in touch with you either way. And uh, if you like what you hear, give the old video a thumbs up. If you happen to be listening through your favorite, get that word out, your favorite podcast catcher. Thank you for joining, too. You can join the conversation and watch as we do the show every morning uh, at 7minutesinthemorning.com. That'll take you to the right Facebook page where you can join in the Facebook Live conversation. Grab your cup of coffee. I'm going to get a sip and then get started. All right. So, hey, big hello to you as well, Keith. Appreciate that. So, um, yeah, this week we've been talking about this week. It's Tuesday. We haven't developed a pattern yet, have we? Um, but we're going to today. We're talking about goal setting this week. And yesterday we talked about how not having one. If you, if you think about this idea of life happening to you, that happens when we don't have a purpose. Right. If we don't, if we're not working toward a goal, if we don't have a purpose, if we don't have a single motivating desire, then we're just existing, wandering through the day. Right. And then whatever happens, happens. And when you look at your daily existence that way, well, whatever happens, happens, then kind of by definition, you feel as though, and you're probably right, you have very little control over what happens to you. Therefore, you are more likely to not really flourish and, in fact, look for some escapism. That's just the way that works. So how do we overcome that? Well, we, it starts, as we said yesterday, have, have that single motivating purpose, that big goal that you're working toward. I didn't call it this yesterday, but that's your big, hairy, audacious goal, that BHAG. What's the big thing you want to work toward? Even, and it can be as simple as taking care of your pets, right? A reason for getting up in the morning and coming back home at night. But... It needs to be bigger than that. So today's, I wanted to talk today about how big is a big goal and how big should I plan. Yesterday I even gave you a suggestion. If you don't have any kind of plan, make a one week plan. In one week, seven days, where do you want to be? I think that's 196 hours. That sounds right. Where do you want to be? If you want to have, I think I did it easily that said $140. So the math would be easy for me. That's $20 a day, right? How you make $20 a day, right? When you look at it like that, well, I need $150 to, I don't know, pay utility bill, buy a new pair of shoes, whatever. $150. Well, all right. That's a big number. That seems daunting. But if you break it down to $20 a day, 22 something a day, then it's not that big a deal. Same with any goal. So the question then becomes <clears throat> how big is too big? Well, and one discussion of this, I heard, you know, using talking about the smart algorithm or the smart uh, acronym rather about specific, measurable, realistic um, goals. They didn't like the R being realistic because you know, their argument was if if NASA had used realistic goals, we never would have gotten to the moon. Okay, fine. Make it related. Make it realistic. Make it whatever works for you. It's a tool. Handrails, not handcuffs, right? Make a goal. So here's the here's the rule of thumb, right? Make a goal that's reasonable for a week. If you're doing a week, 
if it's a year, make it reasonable for doing for for accomplishing in a year. Now we're going to break it down, so we'll test this, right? But reasonable doesn't and reasonable means not too big and not too small, right? If it's too big so that you can't get it done in a week, then you're not going to cross the finish line. You don't get the little shot of dopamine. You don't get all the rewards of doing the work. If it's too small, then you finish early and, you know, it, it's not as, if it's not a challenge, it's not rewarding, right? So, so if you're setting a goal for a week, Start by thinking, you know, where do I need to be? What do I need to get? Break that down into seven days. And now is that daily task reasonable? To make $20 a day, pretty reasonable. To make two, excuse me, $2,000 a day, mm, might be more difficult. Right? Now, if you're, I mean, if you're currently making almost that, but you get my point, right? Once you break it down into those smaller constituent pieces, if that is doable and reasonable, then the big goal is doable and reasonable. If you want to make a million dollars this year in your business, um, that's about $85,000 a month, I think, something like that. Well, that's a lot, right? Is that doable? If you're not making anything right now to go from zero to 85,000 in 30 days might be a lot. Right? How it's so, so now take that month and break it down into a day. Right? How much you have to do a day? Actually, that's bothering me now. I'm going to figure that out. Divided by 30. Uh, see, I can't even do math. Divided by 30. $33,000 a month. You divide that by 30 days in the month. No, that's not right. So you didn't know you'd get to watch real live math. Yeah, $83,000 a month. Divide that by 30 days in a month. You got to do about $2,700, $2,800 a day. To go from zero to $2,800 a day, that's a lot. That's a big jump. Can it be done? Sure. I mean, divide that by 24. You know, online store, that's only $115 an hour, right? Put you up a t-shirt shop on, uh, on, uh, Shopify or something like that. If you can drive $115 worth of sales an hour on average, you can make a million dollars. So maybe it's not that big a goal. You have to decide for you, right? Is it moving you toward your goal? Is it reasonable? That's something you can do. Make it, make it just right so that you can finish that unit of work in one day. Get, get it down to one day. Is that doable? All right. All right. That rambled a little bit. Apologize for that. We'll see if we can't tighten that up again tomorrow. Keith has a, uh, woo, focus comment for us here. Prefer goals that I can affect rather than one which need, need a lot of input from others. Yeah. Yeah, BHAGs can be achieved. I agree. They have to be achieved. That's the whole point. And, and yes, I mean, to Key's point, something that I can affect, something that I can be in charge of, much better. All right. This was helpful. Like the comment, leave, or like the video, leave me a comment. I would appreciate that. Love that feedback. Hey, I'm going to be on the radio at the top of the hour. So I got to hustle to get out of here. That's at WTKIRadio.com, or you can come right back here. You'll see it in the same place, 7 minutes in the morning.com. And I think that's it. And I'll be back here. Should be back here again tomorrow. This week's kind of up in the air for me. Uh, but I'll be, uh, I'll be back. I'll be around. Drop me a comment. Love to hear from you. You can send me an email to Tom at TomRigsby.com. That's it for today. You guys have a fantastic. No, it's, uh, Tuesday. Have a terrific Tuesday. Talk to you tomorrow.